We serve a supernatural God and He is the healer. He's your healer. And so today I have a special guest with me that is going to share with you her supernatural healing and what God did in her life. And it is so exciting. And so say, I'm so happy to have you with me today. And I just want you to share with people that are watching and listening exactly what was wrong with you and kind of what happened in that situation. Sure. Thank you for having me. And uh, I'm glad to share my uh, experience with the Lord. Um, everything happened uh, on late August uh, last year, 2009. Um, I went for my uh, regular physical, and my doctor said that um, after I had the physical done, uh, I, she called me a week later and said that I needed to go back and had some um, biopsy done because my um, exam, it didn't come back normal. So I went back uh, to do a biopsy and while she was um, doing the exam, she told me that uh, it didn't look good. My cervix didn't look good and uh, she would have suggest um, to me to go to, for a treatment even before the results came back. And I thought it was really um, strange. Um, but I, I say, okay, um, well. What kind of treatment did she suggest? I mean, did, um, she, did she say exactly what, what the problem was or? She say it looked like cancer. Mm -hmm. but she needed to um, make sure with the results and the results would have come back in two weeks and I say why you need to send me for treatment what kind of treatment is that be even before the results mm -hmm. and she's like well uh, maybe some uh, radiotherapy and uh, I was like no ah. wow that's serious yes it was serious and um, so she told me to uh, wait then for the results because I refused to go for any treatment. I didn't even want to ask. So about what did you do? Anymore. Well, I mean, what was what did you do next then? Well, I <laughs> looked for help, God's help. Yes. <laughs> I start praying, and I my church uh, family helped me a lot, praying with me um, a few times, not just two or three times, but it was more than that. Mm -hmm. And I had faith. And um, if before the, the two weeks that she gave me, she called me and said that, Celia, I don't know what happened, but the results came back negative and you have nothing. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Wow. The Lord is so faithful, and so you, you went and you had people pray for you, not just once. You know, sometimes we think, well, I got prayer once, it didn't, nothing happened, and so, you know, they just stop right there. But you kept getting prayer, kept yes. coming back re to receive prayer, mm -hmm. and then she said there was nothing there. Right, and I told her at the phone when she called, I say, I know I have nothing, and if I did, Jesus Christ, healed me. And that's the key. That's yeah. the key to it all. Jesus tells us in his word in Isaiah 53, he said, he, not only did he die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins, but he said, by my stripes, you are healed. And he took stripes on his back. He, was, he died and he suffered for our healing, for your healing, for us so that we can ask him for healing. And so you may be watching us today and you may be going through the same thing. You may be suffering with cancer in your body and, and you are saying, I need Jesus to heal me. Well, 
you're watching at the right time, you're listening at the right time because Jesus is your healer. And all it takes is us asking in His name. That's what His Word says. And so we're in agreement. Say He's going to agree with me right now. We're going to pray for you. You believe God for your miracle just like she did. You put your hand upon your body wherever you're suffering, wherever the problem is. Put your hand on your body and we're going to pray and believe God for His healing power to flow into you and to heal you right now. Let's just agree. Father, we come in agreement right now for everyone that's watching. Lord, we send the healing word into their bodies in the name of Jesus. And I curse cancer. I curse the cancer. I curse infirmity, sickness, every disease, every infirmity. I even believe someone's watching me today and, and you've been diagnosed with MS. God wants to heal you. Jesus bore all infirmity, all disease. He carried all sicknesses. And right now, I'm believing God as we're praying. That MS has to go. I release healing to flow into your body. Your muscles will work normal. Your bones and joints will work normal. I release healing of every disease in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, right now for your healing power. Driving out all cancer, all disease in whatever area of your body. Maybe you're struggling right now and you're female organs, and, and God's sending His healing power to you right now. I was uh, recently in the beauty shop and um, getting my hair done, and a lady says, don't, don't you remember me? And I said, no, I don't remember you. And she said, you prayed for me uh, over, I believe it was 17 months ago. I couldn't have a baby, medically impossible. She had uh, infirmity in her womb. Uh, she said, I tried everything, fertility, drugs, everything. And she said, after you prayed for me, a month later, I got pregnant. And now she has a little girl 16 months old. Jesus is the healer. And He will heal those who ask, right? Right. So we have to go and we have to ask Him in His name. And that's what He says to do. And so that's what you did. And so you don't have any problems right now. No, I'm healthy. <laughs> healthy, healed. And it's, it's when we go to Him and we ask and we believe and we receive His Word. Because He's the healer. And He paid the price for all of that. And so today, if you need that, you just believe God. You just receive your healing. And we, we just thank God for, for all that He's done. Call us. If you've been healed, call us. Let us know what God's done for you.